thank you, the Grand Chief, for being here, being here for us. He's been in this community for a long time, and he's given us a lot. And and I just want to, you know, thank him, thank him for that because he put me on the path of chemistry between him and, him and my mate, you know, uh, some years ago, 20, 30 years ago. You know, I'm, I'm not into I, I, I am a little bit into the martial arts, but not so much into the martial arts as I am into the mind, because I am an Aries and I'm about to hit it, so that's where my intelligence is. It's in my dome. And that's, that's, that's the son that I am to him, because that's, that's where we start at. We have to start there. But I'd like to give, give thanks to him being here. And, and I want to, I want to give Brother Lord Johnson to, to talk to us just for a brief moment, just a brief moment, we talked about all the martial arts, and Bob touched on it a little bit about martial arts coming out of Africa, but I want you to tell me about the pictures on the wall. Just a brief I don't want to, I want to stand where I, I don't want to have my back to anyone. I want to be able to work. It's just so clear to everyone. Fine, because I feel like I turn my back. Uh, you know, that's disrespectful to me. So I want to be able to stand where I have my back to my back. I'll tell you what. A year ago, Brother Robert had a big picture. These pictures like that, I haven't been researching for a number of years, Brother Patrick. I'm a Brother Patrick person, I do think. You know, I, I, people see me walking around and say, oh, that's boy, and that's what I do. But they don't know what inside and what I actually do with my time. So I came across a book about 10 years ago called The uh, Have a Good to Egyptian Group uh, Reads. And in this book, so with all the civilization, all the animal civilization that, uh, of our, our spirits, which are the cultural people. So when I met Brother Robert, he had gave me these two photographs. I looked at these two photographs quite, quite well and looked at the Christmas on the table. So a good friend of mine, he's a European, named Patrick McCarthy. He's French Canadian. He lived up in Corbett, Canada for a number of years. During that same time when I was receiving these pictures from Brother Robert, I had had a book of his given to me personally from his library. And in that book, he stated that all the half glyphs of martial science and knowledge came from Gephon Temple of the River Nile in Egypt. Us. Many millennia before Christianity or the Europeans set shore, on our shores, whatever. I looked at them half the and I looked at it, and I looked at my picture from Brother Robert, I looked at them, and, and, and did some more uh, research, because I like research. And I put those things together, and what I find and seem to look through our art and our way of life is that this, we all know everyone in here, that our history has been recorded. We record our history. For many centuries we have been recording our own history. But I was glad to see one European put it in his book. He didn't cover it up and say that it came from here and there. He said his own exact words that all modern martial science of grappling technique come from you, come from you, come from you, come from you, come from you. That book created problems for him when he got to leave Canada. <laughs> he went to Australia where he lived today. But the thing about this European did not take just what he had learned, but his heart and spirit, I seem, was quite different. The cop he lives in, in Australia today, but he doesn't live in uh, the best part of Australia. He decided to go and live where, among the true people, us of that name, because his history and the sound of, of us opened the ventilation of his heart to make his spirit to bring this out. So when I did get these pictures from Brother Robert, and I put these pictures together, and I went back to this mother of these put all this stuff together, and I looked there and I said, well, you know, it's always been about us. Because when I was younger, my household, my 
followed from our village. This, this culture and way of living was instilled to us at a very young age. So the most important thing I realized that those high divisions and pieces I've seen was always here. Was always here. Again from early childhood. As I got older, I'm 60 years old today, and, and, and believe me, I'm learning. I haven't learned anything. Yeah, I'm still learning. I'm on the path to learn as much as I can before I leave for her. <laughs> but I realized one thing is this that everything that exists today comes from us. And we always record our history. We go. Everyone change it and use it to take it what? <clears throat> Better themselves, make them who they are, put yourself on the stomach so. So when I get to the kitchen, I see us. I see us. I see us from my other childhood. I understood who we were and where we are going. And right today, I'm traveling. <clears throat> I am. I'm very proud of when I travel. Because I'm a learner. I'd rather stand back and learn as much as possible. Because I need to learn to understand where I'm going where I have been. So today, in here, I'm about to leave me alone. <laughs> I'm wealthy today. Mm. If I'm not getting another wealth tomorrow, I'm wealthy today. Because I have you all. I am really wealthy. This is the case of the pipes on me. I'm not looking for four thousand people come to this door. You're already here. Four thousand people are already here. Look at those who travel here, look at those who live here. Look at this room in here, the power, the spiritual aspect in here. I'm like this. I've been lifted to high points, never know. I always say, martial science says a high version of learning. I haven't mastered nothing. I'm trying to learn. I learn from everyone in here. I'm going to continue to laugh at everyone in here because that's the way I choose for myself. That's the way my father and mother brought me up. I always say my father and mother. Some people say my mother and then my father. I said my father and my mother because my father, I come from the cross, right? I'm him through my mother. So I'm still learning. Brother Robert, thanks for those pictures because I'm a great believer in this and I want to shut up this book. Y'all can get me in, thumb down, and then we didn't come from Earth. Who's that to say? Mm. <laughs> 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 you can speak. I'll tell you this rule that Mike's just making because I don't want to misuse the post to come with me. Okay? I respect him. First of all, give honor. Allah, Prophet knows to Ali, and I give honor to all of you. Today I've learned much, and my heart is full. I came to ancient Kinetic, came to the Moors a couple years ago. I was on the journey then. I spent most of my life knowing that something wasn't right. My mother used to tell me, she passed away a year ago. A year ago last July. She would always tell me, Gray, you need to stay. Gray, you need get into the concordance. What happened to her was that she didn't have any support. At a young age, she knew that something wasn't right. She ran across it and would not and couldn't find anyone at that particular time to put her on the right path. About, eight, about the last eight months of her life, 
we started to talk and have a conversation. And I was telling her where I was. She said this to me. She said, you stay on that path because your path that you own now is the right path and it's true. And I knew it was true and I knew that I had found myself. I'm learning. I'm learning from everyone. I have learned something from just about everyone in here. When we end the at that chain, I learned. At this event, I have learned quite a bit. As Grand She has said, this is nation building. Back in the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, from time to time, I was asked to take information from one place to another place to someone uh, that was working in civil rights here in Louisville. And I did that because I guess at that particular time, I was in my early 20s, they didn't want to say too much over the phone. So I did that. But now, I see where we made a mistake in with the civil rights. We did not go forth with human rights, the natural rights. And we're not now where we're supposed to be. But the plan has been laid out for us through the process. Each and every one of you all, I just want you to know, I consider each and every one of you all part of my family. Now, we may not agree all the time, but that doesn't mean that you're not part of a family. We discuss, we dissect, we research, and we come to our own understanding of, under our own body of fig tree. It's not. But it is that tree with branches. There's not, uh, the demonstrations that we had today are very inspiring. For me, it helped turn another chapter in my life, in my understanding. And if there's anything that I can do for anyone here, please feel free to call upon me. There's nothing too little, nothing too great. When you get to know me better, or if you know, if you know people who've been knowing me most of my life, they will tell you that. Right now I'm full. I'm full from what? It's all. It's all. It's all. What I've experienced today and the knowledge uh, that has been brought forth here. And I'd just like to say this. Grand Sheik has already stated yesterday. We won't permit this in any of them. This is the only beginning. This is only the beginning of bringing us, bringing our community together. Here, in Louisville, Chicago, Vegas, Baltimore, wherever it may be. Let's get on, let's get on the, let's get on the job and do what we need to do. And do it to our utmost ability. There are people out here, I have young people coming to me asking what is a mole? I think all of us have. Because the younger ones are not dealing with uh, 
European Christianity as we did as we come. As we come. They want to know truth. They want to know the reality. The reality. I got two granddaughters that are a year and a half old and one grandson he, he came in yesterday. My youngest grandson, he's two. And when I picked them up, I didn't teach them this. And I noticed this, my, my three youngest, I did not teach them this. When I pick them up, the first thing that they do is grab the arm of the daddy and they kiss it. They kiss it. And I have not taught them to do that. That let me know something right there. That let me know they know there's some truth in this. I haven't seen that. I got all of my family of a European Christian. I have them I have not seen that one of them do that with the cross. So the generation coming up, they didn't do anything but reinforce that thought that I had that thought that young people that I've seen young people ask about the morals and ask about uh, the different other nationalities that came out of the kingdom. We got a job to do. And like I said, I'm going to end it now. We got a job to do and we need to get busy Regardless of what branch on that big tree we are. Hotel. 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 And uh, I actually learned a lot from everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Banks. 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 Pastor Banks, when I was saying, oh, that's it. <laughs> I said, oh, he don't know he taught me something. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, that's the missing link that I was missing. And I picked up something from him. Baba, every time, man, you always develop these females, these legs. I used to be pissed at you about it. <laughs> That's true. But uh, everything, I mean, it's coming together, and we, we, I, brother, I agree with you, but I disagree with you at the same time. We're talking about an annual thing. No, this is something that needs to be manifested as 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 a, a monthly or uh, weekly thing <laughs> to where we can actually start to develop and start coming together to know each other, to disseminate this information to each other and make this nation very strong. I agree with that. So, you know, uh, you know, and, and, and I picked up from you too, brother. That's why I'm feeding my folks. So, uh, I'm just, I'm glad that this is happening and, you know, I like to say thanks to everyone. Islam. Islam. Wow. Oh. We're going to finish it here because I feel it's time for people to get ready to leave. Uh, I'm getting that feeling. And uh, I don't want to get that from it because I wish I could have you here all day long. And all of us just keep going and going. But then it's just time, it's time out for rest. You know, where you you, you hear it all this, now you got to go find your little corner to yourself and you sit and think about it and kneel it out. But thanks again to all of you for being able to have that kind of energy to come here thankful to you. Baba, we feel wholeheartedly thanks to you, uh, to Rudy Moss, and behalf of, uh, I forgot his name. Hey, hey, what's his name? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs>
I'm not going to bring it out of that. But anyway, uh, again, thank y'all. And uh, let's keep it going, okay? Islam. 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 Islam.